We really are living in cancel culture right now. How the hell did Parasite win Best Picture at the Oscars? Freaking woke culture is ruining it! No, I was talking about all the TV shows and movies that have been delayed or canceled over the coronavirus. Oh. All right, that Peter Stormare joke's getting old anyway. <laughs> Peter Stormare, that's the guy from, like, Fargo and, and uh, the Big Lebowski and the Minority Report and stuff. I think you're thinking of Robert Storm? How confident are you about that? There's restrictions on travel going on right now. Live show banning audiences. Everything is getting canceled. Everything's getting Every canceled. Every event you want to go to is not happening. Other events that we were scheduled to go to, one specifically today, uh, has gotten canceled. It was a Wonder Woman 1984 event. Damn you, coronavirus! Ah! <laughs> yeah. Coronavirus, it's a conspiracy. They hate DC. It's all <laughs> yeah. Marvel. It's all Disney paying for this. It's damn Republicans yeah. controlling everything. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Please be safe out there. It's like fine line you gotta try to ride where you don't want to like walk around just freaking out all the time. Constantly paranoid, but you gotta be cautious. You do have to be safe. Check your information as <laughs> yeah. well. <laughs> and I'll admit, like anywhere I go now, I, I went to the gym the other day and I just touched my face. It's a natural thing when you have a beard. <laughs> and I was like, Did, oh no, have I done it? <laughs> have I done it already? Oh my God. Yeah, it's it's a scary feeling uh, almost everywhere I go. And then even when I went to the gym, they have those hand sanitizers and I just like push it with the elbow <laughs> to my hand. That's the new handshake, it's just the elbow. <laughs> now we got so many movies and things being delayed. Broadway, they're canceling all audiences, all shows. I mean, canceled, museums are shutting down. Anything I think over 250 people that's non-essential. I was watching uh, Seth Meyers, Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Fallon, they're not gonna have a live studio audience. It's like the writer's strike all over. They're delaying the shows and then of course all these big movies are being pushed. It's funny because Mulan just got pushed. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know exactly when yet. I was listening to um, uh, Screen Junkies News and <laughs> they were all going around the panel saying, no they won't push Mulan, they just lose all this money by this point. Some people were surprised that it already hasn't been pushed considering that the coronavirus started in China. So yeah, they were talking about how they won't push it, they'll lose all this money, and then like Mulan's already had enough of its controversy due to its lead star. Right when that episode was done, at least when I turn it off, suddenly I, I go on Collider.com and I see, oh, <laughs> Mulan has been pushed. <laughs> They've also pushed New Mutants as well. Oh. And they push antlers. And New Mutants, man, can't catch a break. No. Can they? <laughs> yeah. No, man, they didn't get the reshoots. Now they're down to a PG-13. That, that movie is going to come out in 2024. It's just been <laughs> delayed constantly. Basketball games are being shut down. Yeah. I think the NHL is still going strong for the moment, although just no one's showing up. <laughs> <That> <laughs> I feel like sense. the audience is canceling the NHL. <laughs> and then Fast and Furious 9, that got a major push. Yeah. That got 11 months. 11 months, and it's taking the Fast 10 slot. All things considered, when you hear like, oh man, they're pushing it a year, that sounds kind of crazy. They've already reserved that slot for a, a different Fast and Furious Just movie. release them both on the same day. I'm very fascinated to see how the marketing will unfold for this, because at first it was just like a few movies, right? Mm -hmm. Like No Time to Die. I remember we were at Burbank for a Schmodown event, and they got this giant <laughs> banner just right across the street <laughs> with advertising the theater. It says April. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're like they just put the sign up. <laughs> yeah, they put this sign up. Everyone who's driving here is yeah. under the impression the next Bond movie is coming out in April. Yeah. But that was just like a couple of movies at that point. Yeah. So I was kind of concerned for No Time to Die, thinking, are people gonna realize this is not coming out then? Yeah, when exactly. it's actually gonna come out? You know that some people aren't gonna realize. <laughs> but now that all these movies are gonna push, now everyone's probably hearing about it. I'm very curious to see what the future of uh, trailer reactions and marketing is gonna be. Yeah. yeah. Well, because that's the thing is they say, you know, pandemics and epidemics like these take, you know, a month or two to get under at least some kind of containment so that we can kind of go back to normal life generally. And, and that makes me wonder, yeah, if we're going to see more gradual pushes because so a lot of these don't have rescheduled dates. I mean, Fast does, but, you know, are we going to get a glut of movies next year? Right. Or are we going to, yeah, see them trickle out in a, you know, more truncated fashion for the rest of well, 2020? As the moment of filming this, Black Widow hasn't been delayed. I think they're waiting a little bit of time, but I'm pretty sure Black Widow will probably get delayed, considering like the fact that this only seems to be getting worse. I have these, or these face masks, 
Great for reaction. And, yeah. <laughs> I had to hunt just one of these boxes down. I, I to, murdered six people for this. <laughs> I went to many different stores. I called around a bunch. They were only like, we can sell one box to one customer at a time. So sorry, you can only get one box. I'm doing my best to be safe. I'm a little skeptical myself to go to a theater. People at theaters already annoy me. <laughs> yes, it is. And I already get annoyed when someone goes to the theater who clearly has a cough. Yeah. I'm like, don't go to the theater if you have a cough. That's just disruptive. I know you're sick. You want to catch this movie but you can wait. <laughs> you know? yeah, exactly. And now if someone has a cough at a theater, I'm going to be like, oh no, oh no, uh, we got to get the hell out of here. You know? Burn a layer of my <laughs> skin off. Quiet Place 2 got delayed. That was the biggest surprise to me just because that was next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's so on top of everything. Like even Mulan got to cancel their press screenings anyway. Right. Or at least, you know, the, the next wave of press screenings. And Quiet Place 2's had everything go out, you know, so they're sure. going to have to re-advertise. <laughs> Peter Rabbit 2. What the hell? I am such a big Peter Rabbit I fan. love it. And there are plenty of things that have suspended production. Grace and Frankie, Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> Riverdale, Riverdale, Russian Doll, <gasps> no, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Damn it! I was looking forward to reacting to that this year. That's why That's why Black Widow is still going to come out. Is yeah. Because they're like, we, we got to push back Falcon and Winter Soldier. Right. We got to push back Mulan. We got to have one Disney movie come out. We got to anticipate that there's probably going to be a shift for a bunch of movies. Not just the ones that have like close release dates to this coronavirus time. Bond got pushed to November, right? And there's already a bunch of movies that were like, December is notoriously known for having a crap ton of movies Oscar come out. Bait. Oscar bait, but also just giant blockbuster come movies that come out there. Family. So a whole bunch of movies come out in December, a bunch of movies come out in November. And you gotta imagine that the studios are gonna also have to readjust those movies who weren't technically gonna be affected by the coronavirus because of the fact that we're gonna have some unusual stacking of films. I wonder if like studios are going to try to like coordinate with one another now to figure this out. It would be cool. It'd I mean, be smart of them. Because especially in the weird time that we live in, I feel like this global pandemic is a great way to remind ourselves of how small the world is and how close we are together and how there are some things that are a little bit more important. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. I'm curious if maybe we'll see more Wednesday release dates for certain things. Because these release dates are calculated yeah. with so much consideration for who else is releasing what on which days, I I would imagine that if they're not coordinating with each other, they're at least going to be watching very keenly, and I can imagine we'll also see a lot of these slates restructured significantly. I was watching uh, Mark Maron's latest Netflix special uh, last night, just to get my mind off things. He shot this before this big coronavirus outbreak. It's very obvious he did. He brings up this great point of the only way we bring people together is if something terrible yes. is happening. Good things don't bring people together. <laughs> he said it has to be a terrible thing. It's true. That's gonna bring everyone together. And I'm watching this going, funny enough, it's the coronavirus yeah. right now. Yeah, like we're doing like some ridiculous things like wiping off the shelves. It's toilet paper, paper towels, yeah. yeah. I, a lot of people are doing that, but then at the same time, we're all kind of in unison now about the same thing. Yeah. Some are a little bit more mad at others of like, you're being ridiculous, but then at the same time, you don't want to just be that guy. You want to be cautious, you know? Yeah. You, you want to treat the situation with a certain amount of credence, and I think that's especially important in this moment with this virus because there's such a disparity between the kinds of information coming out and the official words that we're getting, the recommendations of yeah. how to respond, and the accounts of how contained or not this is. The onus is on all of us as individuals to really keep, yeah, that level head and look seriously at the risk and also not flip the brick out. I mean, Tom Hanks, when he got it, he just posted... Uh, this morning something else about how they are uh, doing doing all right right now taking it day by day which is the only thing you can really do it was interesting how much more personal it got suddenly when tom hanks was diagnosed yeah i didn't know if it was just my algorithm because you know like <laughs> i follow a lot of movie stuff on twitter and actors and whatever so i was like maybe this is just my algorithm making it seem like that it just got really personal for everybody i think there is something about the fact that that like we all know tom hanks funny enough greyhound's not getting delayed I know. I, probably, I thought of that they're trying too. to probably try to capitalize on that. Well, they're like, like, whatever we make, you can go straight to your payments for, for right. this coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. We all have some type of association to Tom Hanks. We might hear about a bunch of people dying. 
we might hear about a bunch of people getting sick. We might know some people who are sick, but there's something in the public sphere with the fact that it's, oh, this is someone we all know. It pierces that bubble that, oh, these things don't happen to them. Yeah, and not they're not even, like, even the America's super wealthy Americans sweetheart. is not immune to this, and there's not, he can't even protect himself from it. Yeah, it makes it real, I think, in a different yeah. way, because we have, like, a, a multiple style relationship with somebody like Tom Hanks. It's like, he is kind of, we have a bond with him because of so many movies and because he's like your uncle and he just played Mr. Rogers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it came from like the pinnacle of celebrities. Yeah. yeah. So I think the fact that too, it, it went for Tom freaking Hanks. <laughs> yeah. It really makes it tangible in a special way. <laughs> yeah. More. I mean, I know like we're, we're kind of zigzagging around in this, in this talk about it, but that's because, yeah, am I bummed that some of these production delays are, are happening and that movies are, are release dates are getting pushed around? Of course I am, but we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Don't move saw. Like, okay. <laughs> like, I'm, movies are my biggest passion. So, like, yeah, I, like, of course, there's a part of me. Sure, I would have liked to have seen Quiet Place 2 next week, but I'll still catch it when it comes out. It's not a big deal. The bit, the thing I'm really concerned for is the independent movies that are going to suffer. Yeah. You know, the lower attendance because of this, who maybe can't afford all the uh, advertisement and theater booking rescheduling. Yeah. Right, right. Most importantly, what matters is that everyone does their best to be safe. Don't be careless. If you suspect anything about yourself, do your absolute best to take care of yourself for you, but also for the, those around you. If you're watching this, you don't live on some castaway island. I mean, I know we're talking about Tom Hanks, so it's probably <laughs> just a different Wilson! reference. Wilson! You're, right. <laughs> you're bound to interact with someone. You're bound to get close to someone. So just be as extra cautious and extra safe as possible. Good hygiene. I know a common thing to do in, in something like this is be selfish, but also, yeah, do your best to look out for others as well. All right, guys, well, which delay is the one that bummed you out the most? <laughs> <laughs> which one are you looking forward to next? <laughs> Subscribe to The Real Rejects, click that notification bell. Let's end this with a <laughs> Anissa Oliva. It's time for a little shout out for you. Something a little out of the box, I thought, while I'm up here getting my exercise. I thought I would shout your name out above the entire valley. Look at that. Anissa! That's right. They know your name now. Anissa, we're going off road. There are probably snakes in here, but it's okay. This is what we do. This is what we do for, for you, you Anissa. Anissa. Look, look at the beauty of God's country. And it's all thanks to you. In a small way, I mean, you know, I'm here now. I know you didn't pave this, but you know, you seem like a person who cares about the earth. And uh, I wanted to honor that by coming out into the earth to give you a shout out. So one more time. Anissa! Right? All right. So uh, much love. Keep hustling in life. And uh, catch you next month. <laughs>